Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it is time to do some soap. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm first of all going to be using Blackberry's and Spiced Pear Fragrance from Crafter's Choice sold by Wholesale Supplies Plus. I positively love the scent of this, but it is one of the bad boys. It holds up beautifully. It smells awesome out of the bottle, but it really accelerates. I'm not talking soap on a stick seizing, but it really moves quickly. And generally, I do an in-the-pot swirl because that's the quickest way to pour and get into the mold before it completely sets up. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a drop swirl with a hanger tool, not a can. But I'm going to have a whole base of blue and I'm, or of purple, and I'm going to put all of my purple in. And then I'm going to quickly, very quickly, drop swirl three accent colors in. So for my purples, I want a little bit lighter. So I'm using Iris Purple and Purple Vibrant. So I have a little bit lighter purple, both from Nurture Soap. I'm going to be using gold, which is Sahara Gold from Nurture Soap. So the purple's the base, that's one of the accent. Brambleberry Electric Bubblegum is the pink, which I have mixed with some titanium dioxide to lighten it up. And then I'm going to have white, which is titanium dioxide. Both of those reluctantly are mixed with water because they are water soluble and I think I'll get the best mixture with the least stick blending. And I'll definitely hand stir the fragrance in. I'm also soaking at room temperature. Therefore, my water, my oils are cloudy, and when I reach a light emulsification, it will more than likely separate. It generally does when it's cold, but it's all right. Let's make some soap. So I'm pouring my room temperature lye water into my room temperature cloudy oils. this to the most basic emulsification I think I can possibly get by with. off and then the purple base will just stay here in the container. Okay, let's set those aside. We will get to those in just a minute. So let's work on our base. So I'm going to start with the iris purple, which is a much lighter purple. And probably put about two teaspoons. And then one of the purple vibrance and see what I have. Let's stir these in. Let me scrape this down. Stir these in and see what we have. satisfied with that. So let me scrape this 
break the sides and give that a good mixing with the spatula. That way whatever's stuck to the sides will get in. And I will stick will in that in just a minute. So let's work on our accents because I'm happy with that. Pink, a little bit of a buzz. And pour it in. And this is a mica, the gold is a mica, so it will stir in easily. And hand stir these in lightest to darkest. Stick blender. And give these a quick buzz. Lightest to darkest. And I mean a quick buzz. Even that little bit makes such a difference in the palette and the way the color comes to life, especially something with TD in it. Actually, I am going to, no, I'm not, never mind, forget that. I was going to go ahead and pour all this in before I fragrance those, but I'm not going to. Oh, this smells out of this world. I love the scent of this fragrance. And it holds up so well in cold process. And actually, well, there, that one's starting to thicken. But soaping at room temp seems to be helping because it's not as bad as it usually is. But I need to move fast because I can see it setting up. So I'm going to pour all of the purple in and then drop swirl into this. So this will still be a much quicker pour than a typical drop swirl.
this is actually behaving not too bad. I might try to make a cut. Now I'm just going to pour. This is what I had planned to do. Pour all the white in. Pour all the pink in. Pour all the gold in. Because, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Setting up. As I suspected. So let's just get all of this on there. I'm not going to try to make a pretty top. I will probably texture it. And I'm going to take the spatula and just kind of tap that to get a flat surface. And then let's see what we can do with the top. never really any good at this kind of texture. Anyway, that was something I wanted to try. There we go, I tried it. And we'll see at the bottom what it looks like inside tomorrow. So, squirt that with some rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. Let it sit five minutes. Squirt it again. I'm going to set it over here on the heater to help force it into a really hot gel. And, folks, I will see you tomorrow for the cut. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back to cut our soap. So if you watch the video, I used an accelerating fragrance oil. It's one of the bad boys, but it smells so good, it's worth it to me. Um, this is the exact shade of purple I was going for, so that worked out. I soaked at room temperature, which did slow it down some, but it still moved quickly once it started. When I was pouring the drop swirl in, it appeared as though it didn't pierce the purple. It appeared as though it just laid on top, or mostly laid on top, which is okay because I intended to use the hanger tool, which I did. So I'm going to bank that this did exactly what I wanted to. Let's find out. But I think it did just exactly what I planned. Here we go. Oh yeah, I can tell it did. I think we got all the colors down in the purple. Maybe not quite so much on the edges, but for the most part, I think it did. So let's see what the bars look like. So here's one of the end pieces. May have a little more purple in it. Yeah, well, actually, it went kind of right down in the center, which is what I was hoping it would do. So that's what I wanted. Yeah, I like that.
And then let's see if this looks any different the second log, because sometimes it does. So far it is looking different. I'm seeing some minor glycerin rivers in the white where I mixed it with water, but if I have to look that hard, nobody's going to know but me. Yeah, this log's kind of, really kind of bland. I think all the colors hit that first log, and that's probably where I poured on that far side and it just mostly laid on top. We're getting a few, the center logs got some more. But that confirmed what I already thought. When I use that fragrance, it's best either to use it with hot process or to do an in the pot swirl because that's the quickest way to pour it and get everything mixed in. So I will definitely remember that. I'm going to either use that one in hot process or in the pot swirl with that one. There's a nice one. But even so, I am still really happy with these. And once again, that fragrance smells so good and holds up so well that I am willing to put up with a very fast acceleration. It's worth it. One of the bad boys, it's worth it. So overall, I'm really happy with these. This is what I have this week, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Hope you all have a great holiday weekend. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.